A vampire with its pale skin, sharp teeth, and it can disguise itself as a bat. And it's a scary, blood-sucking monster! <laughs> There's no such thing as vampires or blood-sucking monsters. Yeah, you're probably right, Katie. Or is she? <gasps> Are you sure there are no vampires, Katie? I'm very sure, Peo. All right, that's enough spooky stories for tonight. It's time for bed. Good night, Peo. Yep, good night, Peo. Um, okay. See you tomorrow. There's no such thing as vampires. Blood-sucking monsters aren't real. such thing as vampires. Yes, there is! It's disguised as a baby bat! Look! <laughs> vampires disguised as bats was just a story, Peo. <gasps> Leo, I think the baby bat is injured. Oh, no. Let's find out how to help it. I just sent you a picture of the baby bat, Katie. I'm already on it. Let's see. It's a baby vampire bat. Vampire bats are nocturnal animals. That means they sleep during the day and are active at night. They sleep upside down in dark places like caves. Vampire bats feed on the blood of other animals. They hunt with great stealth and are able to feast on a sleeping animal without waking it up. <gasps> so it is a blood-sucking monster. No, Peo. Vampire bats don't remove enough blood to harm the animals. And since vampire bats are mammals, their babies drink milk, not blood. However, bites from vampire bats can cause nasty infections and diseases. So we should still be careful around them. Okay, I'm just glad it's not a monster. So what should we do with it? We need to find the baby bat's home and bring it back to its family. Got it! The green anaconda is the world's largest snake. Anacondas are constrictors. They coil themselves around their prey and squeeze them. With their stretchy jaws, anacondas open their mouths wide to swallow their prey whole. Once they've eaten a big meal, they can go for weeks or months without food. Oh boy, we'd better hurry. He should be around here somewhere. Peyo! Pico! Where are you? <laughs> what is it, Hero? Look, it's Peyo's bag. Pico! Where's Peyo? Is he okay? Over here! I'm over here! Whoa, it's huge! Boy, am I glad to see you guys! Look what I found! A flower! Eep. Don't worry, Peo. We'll get you down. Cool! Also, can you hand me my bag? I have to keep these precious flowers safe. Sure thing, Peo. Quietly now. Jetpack Jet activate! activate. Here you go, Peo. Thanks, Leo. Now grab hold of us. Oh, no! Oh, oh, never mind me. Just take this somewhere safe. We mustn't let anything happen to the flower. <gasps> oh, no! Don't worry, Peo. I'll get it. And I'll find a way to get you down. We leave no rangers behind. Huh? Oh! Well, that was easy. Where's it going? Oh, no! Guys! No! Not the bug! Now we'll never get the flower back! Hang on, Pale. Let's get you down first. Huh? Pico! No! You'll get hurt! <laughs> no, Hero! Hero! The anaconda's way too strong for them. Katie, help me grab its tail. Stop right there! Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Back away from the tail. 
What you're about to do is very dangerous. Tangling with an anaconda is a dangerous thing to do. Anacondas are big and strong, but they usually only attack humans when they feel threatened. If you mess around with its tail, it might see that as a threat. The water's so murky. Switch on the lights, Leo. Oh, right. Uh-oh. Yikes! The piranhas are following us! Ah! Let's use flight mode. They can't follow us if we're in the air. Flight mode, activate. Huh? Oh, it's not working. Oh, no! Platypus One must still be broken. Come on, come on, work! Whoa! Whoa! Oh, no! What's happening? Ah! Ah! I, I can't control it! I don't want to die! Is it hero? Whoa! Piranha! Oh, oh no! Not again! Stand back, Junior Rangers! Ranger Rocky! I got it! Back into the water you go! Thanks, Ranger Rocky! I thought we'll get attacked by the piranha for sure! They are river monsters! I don't know about that, but it was really scary! Actually, piranhas are not as scary as you may think, Junior Rangers. Red-bellied piranhas have a reputation for being aggressive and fearsome, but that's not exactly true. If we don't mess with them, they tend to leave people alone. In fact, red-bellied piranhas usually eat prey that are already dead. While it's an advantage to hunt in packs, this behavior of traveling in groups is actually due to their fear of predators. Red-bellied piranhas may not be cute and cuddly, but they are also not the monsters that TV shows and movies make them out to be. We've misunderstood them. I guess we just have to be careful around the red-bellied piranhas. That's right. Stay away and don't provoke them. <sighs> Since there is no ferocious river monster, can we go home now? I'm really tired. Sure, Peo. But first, we need to fix Platypus One. It's been acting up all day. I can help with that, Junior Rangers. Leave it to me. <gasps> it hatched! Aw, it's so cute. Hello, baby Komodo dragon. I'm sure its mother will be looking for it. We have to find its nest quick. Huh? What's wrong, Hero? Whoa! A dragon! A Komodo dragon! Is that its mother? Let's take the baby over to her! Stop! I would not do that if I were you! Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Hello, Junior Rangers! My, my, that is one cute baby lizard! Why did you stop me from returning the baby Komodo dragon, Ranger Rocky? We do not know for sure if that adult Komodo dragon is its mom. Besides, Komodo dragons do not take care of their young. In fact, adult Komodo dragons are often a danger to young Komodo dragons. Adult Komodo dragons are also venomous. You should be careful not to get bitten. If you do, you should see a doctor and get medical attention right away. Get medical attention right away. It looks like it's up to us to find a home for the baby Komodo dragon. Let's take it away before the adult sees us. <sighs> Too late. Now there were three of them, and they're coming right for us. Oh, no. Hurry, Junior Rangers. Take the baby and go. I'll distract them. Got it, Ranger Rocky. Easy, easy. Look at how pretty and pink the sand is. This must be Pink Beach. 
It says here that the pink color comes from small bits of broken pink and red coral. When mixed with the white sand, the beach looks pink. It's really beautiful here. But is it the right place for the baby Komodo dragon? It seems safe and warm enough, but I don't think there's anything for it to eat. We'll have to find a better spot then. At least Hero's having fun with our new friend. The Mimic Octopus. The Mimic Octopus can be found in shallow, murky waters of the Indo-Pacific region. In its original form, it is light brown in color. But the Mimic Octopus is a master of disguise. It can change its appearance and behavior to look like other animals. Wow, I hope we get to see its transformations. Only if we find the octopus first. Let's go meet Farah and help her find it. See you downstairs. Ranger Leo all set. Woohoo! <laughs> Junior Rangers to the rescue! Platypus One, activate! Here, Here we, we go! Farah to Leo, over. Can you hear me? Loud and clear. Awesome. Once you find the Mimic Octopus, tell me everything it mimics. I'll write it down in my handbook. You got it, Farah. Now remember, the Mimic Octopus can be anything. So keep your eyes wide open. Don't worry, I won't be fooled. Aha! I bet this is a Mimic Octopus disguised as a... Uh... An anemone? <gasps> that was fast. Anemone. Anemones are marine creatures that look like flowers and are related to corals. That's not a mimic octopus, Leo. It's a real anemone. Oops, <laughs> you're right, Katie. Sorry, Farah. False alarm. That was not a mimic octopus disguised as an anemone. It's not? Okay, no anemone then. Let's look somewhere else. What did you find, Hero? Huh? A rock? Ooh, a rock? And I thought the Mimic Octopus only mimicked animals. Rock. Obviously, it's a real rock, Hero. False alarm again, Farah. So no rock? Well, okay then. Hmm, it's getting a bit messy. Oh no, it's trapped in fishing wire. Hero, let's use our grabbers to untangle the wire. Kitty, take the wheel. Got it. Jetpack, activate. Ugh. Almost, it's stuck. Look, the capybara is here to help. Huh? But shouldn't the capybara be afraid of the snake? Now we've got to save the rest of the animals. Roger that! Roger that! Off you go! Bye! Run, little tortoise! 
tortoises run faster! Guys, look! The smoke is almost gone. Ranger Rocky must have put the fire out. Oh! Ranger Rocky, are you all right? I sure am, Leo. All clear. The fire is out. Good job, Junior Rangers. Yay! Oh, we did it! Good job, Ranger Rocky! <laughs> <laughs> Look, here's a good spot for us to stop. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Hello, Junior Rangers. What brings you all the way out here? We found a python with her eggs, Ranger Rocky, and we're gonna set her free. That is a big snake. You know, reticulated pythons are great swimmers and sometimes hang from the branches of trees to attack their prey. Their name comes from the pattern on their skin, which looks like a net and helps to hide them in the jungle. What about the mothers and their eggs? They can be quite protective of their eggs and they can lay up to 80 of them at a time. If you want to find a good place to let it go, look for a place near water, like rivers and lakes. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Let's see what we can find. Here's an open field with tents, and over here is a lake. Do you know where we should go? Over there is a field with tents, which means there are people. And over there is a lake. So where should we go? There? That's right. We need to go to a place with water because pythons are great swimmers. Let's go. Whoa! Leo, are you okay? I'm fine, Katie, but the mother python disappeared and Hero needs our help. Let's go and find Hero. No, Leo. Hero led the hippo away from here to protect us. Hippos are extremely aggressive and too dangerous to follow. You're right, Katie. Hero knows what he's doing. He should be fine. Let's look for the mother python then. Did you find it, Hero? Hey, that's not my football. It's hard and smooth. It looks like a turtle. What a pretty shell you have. I wonder what kind of turtle you are. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Smile, Mr. Turtle. Hi, Katie. I just sent you a photo of a turtle we found in the garden. I like the markings on its shell, but it's not a turtle, it's a tortoise. Turtles live in the sea, while tortoises live on land. Oh, I see. Can you find more information about this tortoise? Of course I can. Great, I'm coming up. Hero, you stay here with our new friend. I'll be right back. <coughs> Come on, everybody. Let's go into the treehouse. Katie, did you find anything? Hi, Leo. This tortoise is an Indian star tortoise. That's a very suitable name for this animal. The Indian star tortoise comes from India, Sri Lanka, and parts of Pakistan. And as you have noticed, the Indian star tortoise has star-like markings on its round shell. They look amazing, but what are those markings for? With the star-like markings on its shell, this tortoise can hide very well among grasses or plants. Their hard shells help to protect them, but they are still preyed upon by large birds and reptiles such as snakes. 
So Indian star tortoises have to hide themselves well from these sharp predators. Indian star tortoises normally live in dry scrub forests or grasslands. They can hide much better there. These places also provide the right kind of food for them, like grasses, flowers, and fallen fruit. Then we have to bring this Indian star tortoise back home, where it can hide and find the right food to eat. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Dung ball? This is just a dung ball, too. I guess I should start looking. Hmm, that looks like a normal dung ball. Hey, look out for that puddle! Or not. Where is it going? You're not gonna try to go over that, are you? Silly beetle, you can go around it, you know. But here, let me help you. If you walk around but first, you'll just keep bumping into things. Do you even know where you're going? They do know. Huh? Dung beetles are actually very good at navigation. Ranger, Ranger Rocky! Rocky! Hello, Junior Rangers. Dung beetles have a special way of navigation. It's okay if they walk but first. They don't need to look around at things on the ground because they do not navigate using landmarks. Instead, they navigate using the sun during the day. And at night, they use the stars in the sky, just like sailors used to do in the past. Used to do in the past. Hmm. Aha! I have to go that way. See you around, Junior Rangers. Bye, Bye Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Come on, hero. Let's find your ball. No. Nope. Just a dung ball. A star? That's it! Hero, over there! That's not your ball, little friend. It's Hero's. Can we have it back, please? Oh no! The ball! <gasps> Not the beetle, too! Hero, it's headed right for that cliff! Jetpack, activate! We've got to do something! Coming through! Over here! Alright! Presenting Shrimp Zilla! Hmm. Something is missing. Huh? A flotation device? Oh, someone must have littered. That's horrible. We should not be littering. Hmm. It's wrong to litter, but I know how we can reuse this. Can't have a peacock mantis shrimp without its smasher. Shrimpzilla is perfect now. Then let's go break up that fight. Yeah! Yeah! Ready, Farah? Yeah! Now! Rawr! 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 It's working! We got their attention! Good job, Farah! I'm bringing us closer. Roger that, Leo! Rawr, shrimps, break it up, break it up! Huh? huh? Why are they swimming towards us? Ah! Cool, they're working as a team now. That's right, go home. No more violence for you two. Yes, we got the shrimps to stop fighting and work together. That's great for them, but not for us. Look! Uh-oh, time to get out of here. Hang on tight, Bara. <sighs> we 
We made it out alive. I'll never underestimate shrimps again. Are you okay back there, Farah? Rawr! Rawr! Oops, I mean, I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> Mission accomplished. I'm glad we managed to stop those mantis shrimps. Now let's go fix that broken window and camera lens. I'll get the super glue. Super glue? How about some tape? Are you the one with glasses? Or am I the one with glasses? Super glue will fix a broken glass. I think we should try using tape. No, super glue. Carefully. There you go. Come here, crabs. It's dangerous over there. Here, crabs. Just grab onto my boomerang. Okay. You can let go now. Is that all of them? Uh oh. Not quite. <gasps> we have to save that crab. Lend me a jetpack again, Leo. I'll fly in and pick the crab up. No, Kyle. That's too dangerous. More vehicles are approaching. We have to think of another way. We can use the jetpack, but we don't have to be the ones actually flying it. What do you mean, Katie? Put the jetpack on the ground and aim it towards the crab. I'll configure the jetpack controls from my tablet. That way, the jetpack can be activated without putting any of us in danger. Brilliant thinking, Katie. This should do it. And activate. Amazing! You did it, Katie! Good job, Junior Rangers. That was some quick thinking. The barrier has been fixed. No crabs will get onto the road now. Yay! Phew. That's great to hear, Ranger Rocky. Let's go, guys. I can hear the waves crashing. We're so close to the beach now. Here we are. The crabs have arrived safely. Wow, there's so many of them. From here on, they'll dig burrows and start making babies. In a month's time, the baby crabs will make their way from the sea to their new home. It will be a sight just as magnificent as this. I'm gonna come back so I can watch the baby crabs migrate. Us too. <laughs> Mission accomplished. I'm glad we managed to guide the Christmas Island red crabs safely to the beach. <laughs> Could there be more birds migrating? Let's have a look outside. It looks like a bird. No, wait, I think it's a plane. No, it's Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Ranger out. Ranger out. Hang in there, buddy. We'll flip you over in no time. We're too weak to lift it on our own, but maybe we can use something to help us. Hmm. Aha! I know just the thing. I hope this works. I'm sure it will. Ready, everyone? Ready! Ready. <laughs> All right. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> Look! It's working! It's working! Keep at it, guys. We're almost there. Hi, Ranger Rocky. Are you all right, Leo? Just checking in on the situation with the tortoise. We just had a bit of a setback, but we're all okay. Are you sure? I'd be happy to come over to help. Thanks, Ranger Rocky, but we got this. Right, Rangers? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> all right, then. All the best. Ranger out. Ranger out. Does anyone have any other ideas? We need to get stronger! Or maybe we just need a better log. Hmm, less energy will be needed if we use a longer log. It's basic science. 
All right. Now that we've got science on our side, let's try this again. Jetpack activate. Jet activate. Three, two, one, go. Uh, it's working. You're a genius, Katie. Uh, whoa, oh, no. It's no use. We need help. Maybe we should call Ranger Rocky. Never give up, Peo. There's gotta be another way. Yeah.